Uh, I'm going to show you how to make this sweet, sweet uh, fold up flippy book syllabus with all the information that you need for this class. Yay! Look at it. It's all chunked and nice and pretty and you're going to you're gonna read it <laughs> definitely and uh, a little worksheet attached to it and then a little spot down here for you and your parents uh, to sign it. Make sure you and the grown-ups in charge you sign it and look real closely at this part at the bottom, right? You know, it says uh, in signing, you know, I read this and I know what it says because it's important information and I'm not going to accept oh, I didn't know because you had to read it. So anyway, when you pick up these papers, they should be all set out uh, nicely. And if you got them all jumbled, don't worry. Here's the order. So this page that says around the room at the top and has the QR code at the bottom. That's page one. All right. And then hall passes and it says course description. That's page two. Page three is the one that says consequences down at the bottom. Everybody likes that. And page four is the one that looks like this and has a little signature thing at the bottom. What's nice about page four is you don't have to fold page four at all. So you can just put page four to the side. Now when you fold these, you'll notice that each of them has a solid line. On each of these, you're going to fold them so that this top part goes down and under. Uh, be a little liberal with the use of the pause button, especially if you don't have your pages in order yet. But here we go. So page one, QR code, right? Line, fold it, right? Down and under. You're like, wait, that's not what down and under means. Shut up. That's what I think it means. Right, so it's like that. And it says procedures and policies at the bottom. And then you'll take the one that says course description, dot a line, fold that down. Boop, 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 boop. Fold it down, and then look at this. Oh, it slips right under, and now, now we're starting to look pretty good, right? So you just you folded the second page, flip it. Oh, look at that! Slips in there. Put that to the side. Here's page three. Here's the line. Now this one has a problem with the 2019, 2020, where this line should be a little lower. So fold just just below the line on this one. You can be kind of look. You got some room. So just fold like you know below the line, but above the box, and try to make it you know kind of even there. You see, you see at the bottom in general, uh, info and consequences kind of even. So we just give it the old creaser doodle do, and then bloop bloop bloop. And look, oh, that fits in there real nice. Then, sloop, sloop. You just set that fourth page right under it. See, it takes up the same spot of like a normal page, and it's all nice and flippy and nice. Then what you're going to do, you'll fold up consequences right here. Just fold that up. And I've got a nice long stapler. You're just going to put a staple here and here and right there in the middle and try to make sure that they're right on the line and and your papers might shift around, so you want to make sure that this bottom page here, we're stapling real close to the top, otherwise it's going to be uh, kind of awkward. So you take the super long stapler, of which we only have one, and you will have to share. You give the old staple Rooney, and then it'll look like this. See? You just open up. See? We open up right there. Staple is right there. And you'll notice you can just flip through all the pages real nice. Yeah, there's our, all the general info, see? All the information about homework. Yeah, that looks good. All the information here about the procedures and policies. Oh, look at all of them. And that's not even all of them. And then back here, a little worksheet around the room scavenger hunt. So you got this, and then, oh man, there's more. 31 questions, you'll have two days of class to do it. And this document will actually help you do that as well. Questions, uh, ask uh, Room Patterson. Yay.